As the new mecha anime from Sunrise, Chokai Senki has been out for a while now. Today, we will check out one of the unique looking mecha for the series. Welcome back to Scythe Boy's monthly review. I'm Scythe. Today, we will look at the HG Melee's Jogen from Kyokai Senki. Melee stands for Mobile Artificial Intelligence Learning System. Jogen is one of the Melee's belonging to the Yatagalasu organization in Kyokai Senki. This mobile weapon is equipped with an intelligence learning system and has exceptional capabilities than all the automobile artificial intelligence mounts. Jogen is specialized in artillery combat and it is organized to carry various firearms. However, it has limited mobility compared to other units of the same type, such as Kambu, our main character. Gashin Tezuka is the pilot of this melee and his AI partner is K. Opening the box, you will find yellow and blue runners for the outer armor. Note that one of the blue runners is darker than the other ones. Dark gray runners for the inner frame, white runner for the weapons, and one clear blue runner for the visor. Stickers are minimum for this kit. As usual, a standard high grade instruction manual is included in the box. Now, let us start building. I don't think any reviewers on YouTube have mentioned this. The mecha in Kyokai Senki is designed by Ken Okuyama Design, led by Ken Okuyama, who is a world-renowned industrial designer. For those of you who are not familiar with that name, Ken Okuyama is also the designer for the RX-78 G40. It is very unique looking design with some crazy articulations. He also designed a few Zakus, however, they did not become model kits. So what happens when a world-famous industrial designer makes his own mecha? Let us find out in the reviews coming up. Before I start the review, please like and subscribe to this channel for more kits reviews, custom builds, and tutorials. Due to my geographical location, I cannot present you with the latest release from Japan. However, I'm decently knowledgeable in model making, stories, side stories, and different designers. I try my best to provide you with something different. So even if you have watched reviews of the same kit from other YouTubers, I'm sure you will learn something new from mine. Now, let us start the review with the articulations of Melee's Jogen. Melee's Jogen comes comes with a crazy range of movements. Other than the standard arm motions, it can also make inhuman poses. My favorite part about the arms is the pistons on the chest. When you move the arm forward, the piston moves as well. If you prefer a more symmetrical design, the left shoulder shield can be replaced by the standard armor. Inside the shoulder shield, there is a combat dagger. The head was designed with two rotating joints and a ball joint to replicate the same motion of a human head. The waist has good side-to-side -side movements with a crazy forward bend. The backward motion relies on the ball joint, which is not that wide. I had a little trouble posing the legs for the first time. These chicken legs got me a little confused about the standard standing pose, and I had to reference the box art for it. Like the rest of the body, the legs can do a full high kick and a full back kick. Jogan can perform an almost 180 degree split. The feet have full rotation and the toes move together. On the back of the feet, there are extra mechanical standing
stands. Reminds me of a chicken leg even more. The back skirt comes with three joints, and there are a lot of mechanical details inside. You can replace the bottom half of the back skirt with this part here to show the fully extended stabilizer. Shogun's weapon is the 120mm double barrel sniper rifle. With the unique arm design, it locks the rifle. The gun stock can slide further to secure the pose. Other than the trigger finger, Jogan also comes with two open palms. Unlike the ring leaf I reviewed last time, Bandai is back with my expectations on stickers. For this kit, you are getting minimum stickers. The shiny yellow stickers are for the legs and chest pistons. Blue gray stickers is for the middle of the chest. These yellow vents are for the backpack. And lastly, the green visors are for the sniper rifle. You will also need to paint the blade, hands, and the back skirt stands if you want to be anime accurate. Mei Li's Jogan comes with a matte finish as 99% of the kit is made with KPS material. While that is really good for street builders and custom painting, heavy customizations could be slightly annoying. There is a seam line on the gun and one hidden seam line on the hip. The other cleanup you need is to sand a few mold lines on the upper arms and joints. I was not really a big fan of Kyokai Sanki before I got this kit. The anime is mediocre and the pacing is super slow. While the AI setting is fascinating, the plot is too generic in my opinion. However, after building the Melee's Jogan, I can really see the effort of Ken Okuyama's team when they're designing this series of mecha. By incorporating simpler designs to the joints of the mecha, they magically made it more articulate than the more complicated designs we see in Gundam. This is not just a simple less is more concept. Ken Okuyama's team really understands how human moves and added even more degrees of freedom on top of that. Not only the crazy articulation, but Ken's team also made sure this mecha has the streamlined designs we see from automobiles. As someone with an automotive engineering degree, I appreciate the design thinking behind this beautiful piece. My only complaint is the lack of equipment, but I know Bandai will be releasing extra weapons for Jogan just like its sibling Kanbu. I also think the back skirt stand is a little extra, but having it is really better than nothing. So overall, I recommend you to get this kit if you like snipers, if you want something different than Gunpla on a shelf, or if you simply think this kit looks cool. I hope my comment about the anime did not turn you away from it. I suggest you watch a couple episodes before deciding if it's good or bad. How do you guys feel about this kit or Kyokai Sanki overall? Would you be interested to see a fully painted version of this model? Let me know in the comments. That is all from me. Special thanks to Torchlight Games and Hobbies for providing this kit for review. Torchlight Games and Hobbies is a hobby shop located in Burlington and they have the best shipping rate in Canada. Other than Gunpla, Tools, and various Pla models, they also have tabletop top games and trading cards. Use my code Scythe5 for 5% off for Gunpla, Tools, and Paints. Link in description. If you enjoyed this review, please like and subscribe to my channel for some support. If you have any suggestions or any kit you want to see, let me know in the comments. And now for the lucky winner from my last giveaway. Before drawing, I would like to thank you all for joining this giveaway. More giveaways will happen in the future. Please stay tuned. Congratulations to the winner! Please send me a message on any of my social media in the description. I will send you the instructions on how to get verified and obtain the prize. While I will have more giveaways in the future, I also wish you guys did not like my content just for the giveaways. For this reason, I will no longer notify the winner in my future videos. If you don't want to miss out, please follow my content. Once again, I really wish to create enjoyable content for you guys, so any suggestions are welcome. I'm in the progress of making a Discord channel. Let me know in the comments if you're interested. Also, shout out to Torchlight Games and Hobbies for providing the prize for this giveaway. Please check them out. You can follow my Instagram and Twitter for almost daily updates. If you want to show some extra care, my Patreon is up and running. I will be sharing some Patreon exclusive content over there. Thank you for watching. Scythe here, I will see you next time.